hello everybody and welcome to my new channel <laughs> so if you're a subscriber to me you're probably thinking what is this video what have i missed out on what is going on uh so basically this video is here to explain so if you go onto my channel you will notice a few changes the first most obvious <laughs> is that there are no videos apart from this one this will be my first new video basically if you are a returning subscriber to my channel then thank you so much for sticking around over i don't even know how long it's been but yeah just thank you so much for sticking around and being here and i'm also really sorry if you liked my previous content or you like to look back on my videos that i had previously put up but i have basically decided and it's been a long while me thinking to do this that I wanted to get rid of all my videos. Now, I haven't deleted them fully, they are just on private, so like I've still got them to look back on because that's the main reason why I was doing what I was doing in the first place is to just kind of like create a online diary sort of thing and that's what I did, especially during lockdown, like that that is what I did. So they're still there, but like for my purpose only rather than the whole world being able to see them. So I wanted a, a fresh start and I know you're probably thinking but why have you deleted all your videos you could have kept them up and just started like a fresh thing on your channel but to me I find it really hard to create a fresh start without with like something already there I just feel like I just keep creating the same thing if it's already there whereas if I get rid of everything completely blank canvas that's when it really feels like a fresh start so that's the plan basically and the reason for it is there is no real reason to be honest I just wanted a fresh start and also as cheesy and as cliche as this sounds I feel like I have just grown out of my channel my content that I was creating my name so that's another thing that has changed if you haven't noticed or if you're new hi this didn't used to be my channel name it used to be something else and i had completely grown out of that i'd had that name oh my god for years like six or seven years maybe even more to be honest and i just thought that's not me anymore and again it sounds very cliche and very like weird but i feel like lockdown and like the pandemic especially last year it's just kind of changed me like my whole life has generally changed my job my like thoughts on things i don't know everything has changed basically and i didn't want to keep creating content on a platform that wasn't really me anymore or had the old me and stuff so that's basically the reason for this i just wanted a complete fresh slate fresh start completely i am just having a massive revamp basically so my channel name is now it's Gemma Ann. that's gonna be me from now on also if you follow me on instagram that is also my new instagram i completely started fresh again on there i created a whole new page my old one is not active anymore so if you would like to follow me on instagram please go and follow it's Gemma Ann, and that will be me <laughs> So yeah, I have basically just decided to have a complete wipe out of everything that you guys know and just kind of come back as how I feel like is me and is the new me, it's not new me, but you know, how I just want to take things from now on, like moving forward. So I have my iced coffee. I did go to Starbucks and pick this up, grab your drink of choice already been a bit of a rambly video but i just wanted to explain basically where i had been slash what's been happening so if you are a subscriber returning thank you so much if you're going to stick around please stick around um so what you're going to see on this channel from now on is just everything me that i love so a huge part of that is and has always been disney that's not going to change i'm still the biggest disney fan ever um and it's still a massive massive part of my life but it's not the only thing which i would like to share with you guys although i am doing a little disney haul after this little section of the video i wanted to create something a bit interesting after my ramble <laughs> so stay tuned for the disney haul but yeah it's not just gonna be 
Disney this, Disney that. It's going to be me. So my passions in life, yes, Disney. My job, so basically because of the pandemic, I had to go and get a job working at a supermarket. I had to, I have bills to pay, I have to have to do something. So that's what I've done, but on the side of that, I've also been setting up my own business and I'm doing dog walking. Just as a little background for like me, if you are new, I'm setting up a dog walking business. It's going really well so far. Um, I did a course on dog walking. I'm insured, I'm DBS check. I have everything in place that I need and it's going well. It's going really well and I absolutely adore it. Like I love it. So there might be some of that on this on this channel now. I don't know, we'll see. But that's like now a massive part of my life which is a passion as well as a job and things. So it's just gonna be Gemma, but the upgraded Gemma, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, I still love my coffee, I still love Disney, I still love my dogs, my Wilma, you'll still see her. But it's just going to be an updated version, basically. That's all it's going to be. So, I really hope you're excited for this new version <laughs> to come through. Yeah, I just kind of felt trapped in my other spaces online, just felt trapped in it, felt like I couldn't really get out of that bubble so I'm hoping that this fresh start will just allow me to just do whatever I want basically I want a space where I can do what I want it's my space so yeah you'll find a lot of Disney a lot of dogs probably a lot of lifestyle a lot of home um just generally my life to be honest so I hope you guys are okay with that um, and I'm sorry if you are a subscriber and that's not what you're after or not what you're hoping for I would like you to stick around but if you do want to <laughs> move on then i totally understand and hopefully you guys will enjoy this kind of new journey with me so that's my explanation that is what is going on it wasn't a quick like decision it took a while and it took a big like plunge to do it because it was quite like ah, scary cheers to that cheers to the new start fresh start um, but yeah, I'm going to basically show you a Disney haul now, some bits that I've picked up recently um, from the Disney store, H&M and also Kath Kidston. So if you are excited, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, now the babble is over and the little explanation about my channel, let's enjoy the Disney haul. I think we'll start with H&M because I literally got that delivery today, so I'm excited about it. <laughs> a lot of these items that I've got to show you actually have been in the sale. I think all of them are in the sale. Like all of them were not full price. So this is really good. So yeah, I'm gonna show you H&M first. So this t-shirt that I'm gonna show you, that it was 12 99 and I got it for 6 99 So it was half price. And it's just a plain white tee and it's got Fantasia Mickey on there. How cute is he? So he's at the top and he's also down the bottom here he's on the sleeve as well there and also on the back it says the ultimate sight and sound across the neck and he is also at the top at the back as well and i just thought this was such a lovely plain white tee with that little bit of a hint of disney because who doesn't want a hint of disney in their outfit like i literally have to have a little bit of disney wherever i go so I thought this was great and especially for six pounds it's very like zara-esque i think that's a right steal if you ask me haven't actually tried it on yet so i hope it fits i'm sure it will but i love that and then this next thing i was really umming ahhing about because it's not one of my favorite films i'm gonna pop it out there it's not like oh my god i love that film but i just thought it was super cute and why not it is disney so this is a jumper and it should have been 24.99 i got it for 12 and it's a grey hoodie so here's the hood <laughs> and it's like an acid acid wash grey and the seeds are kind of like what's this a bit puffed i guess um and there's the cuff at the end but it's basically got toulouse on the front from the aristocats and to be fair he is sassy so i do like this and i really like the print of the wording it kind of makes it a bit edgy a bit kind of like grungy i guess and it is like a cropped um hoodie so this will be really good to wear i'm just gonna wear it with like mum jeans and stuff like high-waisted though and yeah i just thought it was really quite 
different actually not too like princess fairy like do you know what i mean it's quite like a grungy look jumper so i do really like that and for 12 pounds people honestly i think as well with like sales you just have to get there at the right time for your size because i still have quite a lot of sizes left of those so i think i just like hit the jackpot to be honest Okay, I'm now going to show you something which I bought from Caf Kidston, but it's actually from eBay. It's only one thing. Um, I basically bought it because of the bargain that it was, and I know it's genuine. It's got a brand new tag on it. Here it is. Du, 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 du. So, yeah, this is a bag, <laughs> if you can't tell. It's from Caf Kidston. It has the tag on here, and the bargain is that this should have been 75 pounds i would not have paid 75 pounds for this even though i do love it it's just like that inside and you've got like the zip and it's um a jungle book edition as you can tell because it has sheer khan and it says Kaf kiston disney a little fun fact about me is that my favorite disney villain is actually sheer khan because he is a tiger mainly i think but i love him so much and um, this bag is just gorgeous. I love that it's pink and it's florally, but you've also got the villain on there. Like, how cool is that? So the bargain is, this should be £75. It is brand new, as you can see. It literally hasn't been used and the tag has been put on. Like, it is sparkling pink. Like, it has not been used at all. I got this for £20. £20. And the material is lovely. It's kind of like a... I want to say like waterproof, so it's going to be really hard wearing, so it's going to be really good for days out. So I'm just literally chuffed with this because it's got Shea Khan on it, basically. I love this. I'm so happy with that find. Like, when you get a good find on eBay, it's just the best thing ever. <laughs> okay, next we'll go into the Disney store. So I actually bought these in store at the Disney store. I went shopping yesterday with a couple of friends and Ryan. It was like our first outing since lockdown and it was just so nice to get out and it actually wasn't that crazy um so yeah i went into disney store bought a couple of things they were like do you want a bag i was like oh yes please thought they'd give me you know like a plastic bag and i'd pay like 50p they gave me one of these which was really sweet and i don't know if i paid for it oh hang on i've got the receipt here oh one pound fifty that's not bad actually i love it because it's like a smaller bag as well so yeah i got this which they popped it inside which is really sweet so that's nice to reuse so the first thing which i saw was that they were selling their disney face masks on sale so the disney face masks are normally 20 pounds for a pack of four um and they've just they've always been that but in the disney store i don't know i don't know what it's like online i haven't looked to compare but in the store we were in they were selling the packs of masks for six pounds for four which i was like oh my god that is amazing so i just picked up a pair even though i know we're not gonna be wearing masks like hopefully anyway for not that much longer i picked up a pair because i just couldn't resist i got the pixar pack so i've got one with forky on the front this one is probably my favorite because it's got like loads and loads of pixar characters on there like wally's on there joy is on there so that one's really cute i love that this one is also quite sweet. It's got some Pixar characters in like little squares. <laughs> and then this one, Mike. Mike Wazowski. Yeah, that's the fourth one. So picked those up for six pounds, which is honestly amazing. And they had all the designs, like it wasn't limited or anything. It was ugh, amazing. I was loving life. I also picked up a t-shirt slash long sleeve no, yeah, it's like a long sleeve top slash jumper. Again, in the sale. I didn't realise, but we must have been in the sale section, but I mean, I'm not complaining. So this top should have been £20, and it was half price. I got it for £10, which is so good. And if this gives you a clue, it's Star Wars. And this is it. So it's quite like subtle from far away, I think, but it is basically... Um, a Star Wars t-shirt that's got Grogu on there and it says like the child, it says the asset, stronger than you think, all over it. And again, it's kind of like graffiti, so it's kind of cool and I love that it's beige, like I love beige wearing it. Um, and it's got like cuffs at the sleeve, it's really nice quality. 
and for £10 I was like I just need it because it's beige and I just thought this would look really sweet tucked into like mum jeans with a little jacket over the top I just really liked it so yeah I picked that up I have no excuse I just really liked it and the last thing which I'm going to show you is the most random thing ever and Ryan was like you can't buy that but I of course bought it um, again in the sale it should have been this should have been £10 I got it for £6.99 and this is what I got so this is part of the Pixar like remix version basically it's the aliens from Toy Story dressed up as different characters from films like Pixar films Brave is one of my favorite Disney films Merida I love her it's a very underrated film and you don't see much like Brave Merida kind of like merch so I saw this little guy and I just had to bring him home basically it's so silly but I just think he's the cutest like it's the funnest little thing like look at the hair look at that that is insane so yeah I just love it and he's just gonna sit on the side obviously but I just thought it was the cutest thing ever six pounds for my little alien Merida <laughs> so yeah that is everything which I bought from Disney well that's like a Disney themed I guess from H&M the Disney store and Cafe Kidston I just thought it'd be quite fun to add those and show you guys on the end of my little chatty video because Disney is very much like a part of my life so I like to show it off as well so I hope you guys did enjoy this video I hope you guys are excited to see what is to come I'm just really excited to have a fresh start start from scratch um, hopefully you guys will stick around it will mean like the world if you do so yeah that's that's all I can say really is that I'm excited I hope you guys are please stick around and if you have any questions or suggestions let me know down below I'm open literally to anything I am back like doing whatever I want to do so yeah if you have any suggestions of anything you would like to see pop them down below because I'll pretty much do everything to a, to a certain extent <laughs> so thank you guys for watching my first video back please don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next one bye